Today what we're going to be talking about is we got Anthony here that's going to demonstrate on this uh, Kawasaki motor he's working on about how to properly choose which bolts he's going to put in the crankcase. So when we take some apart, we have uh, quite a few different bolts. Want to go ahead and hold your baggie up. You can also see here with his organization that he's just taking all his case bolts and putting them in one baggie. So then when we go to actually put them together, we have to make sure that they go in the proper place. Go ahead and talk about that, Anthony. Okay, uh, if, when you have all your case bolts in, you can tell if they're right or not because they'll all be the, at the same height, just a little less than a half inch. As you can see here, this is a wrong one. It's way over a half inch, and unlike these ones. So we're going to replace this one with a good bolt and now it's at the right height as with the other ones. Great, great stuff. So let me make another point here is sometimes what can happen is you can have a bolt that will give you grief too because let's say that this is sitting in here and it's only up, you know, let's say a quarter of an inch. That doesn't leave very many threads, does it guys? No, no. So the problem with that is it could give us a false torque that we thread that in. As soon as we pull torque on that, what are we going to do to the threads down here? We're going to pull in threads. Now think about this. The threads are here, here, and here. If we strip those threads, we got to disassemble the case, hilly coil if there's room, repair the threads. It's a bunch of work. So we put all of our bolts in of our crankcase at the same unassembled height and we shouldn't have any problems. Let's take a look at the curriculum of where this is taught really well. Grab your camera here and focus on the uh, Honda Common Manual. So once again, you know, we're not inventing anything. We're just trying to duplicate what's successful of our service manuals, right? Sure. So you can see here, we won't go through and read the whole thing, but it basically is a great job that uh, Honda put together of how you can uh, find it to be really common to assemble fasteners. You got a baggie full of bolts, you can go ahead and get those together pretty easily. Go ahead here and notice something else we do. We use microfishes. So we go ahead and print the microfish out and we use this also as an inventory or a checklist, right? So you guys, what are we doing to these? We find out if, if there are 12 bolts required, we should have 12 bolts that come out of the engine case. We'll check them off. If we have something that needs ordered, we will highlight it like in this case. And that's how we keep a good inventory. You'll notice here, if we could get the camera to focus, on this particular, uh, on this particular crankcase set, we have two different size bolts. We have 11 of one and one of another, so we needed 12 bolts to come out of these crankcases before we attempt to disassemble them. There's your good tip of the day for every mechanic should know that bolts in a common crankcase, focus back up here, bolts in a common crankcase should all be at the same height before we tighten any of them. 